In my previous video, I introduced a workaround for writing music for video in MuseScore and using the playback capabilities of MuseScore 4 for a more realistic sound. Here's a step-by-step -step for anyone wanting to try it on Windows 10, or 11 I presume. To start, I'm going to presume you have MuseScore 4 with the Muse sounds installed. Now, if you have already deleted it, you'll need to download MuseScore 3.6.2 again. We can go to the MuseScore Downloads page, then select Older Versions, Windows 7 or higher, download and install that last one on the list, MuseScore 3.6.2. We also need to download Jack from jackaudio.org. Again, the Downloads page and the Windows 64 installer. Another one to download is XJDO from xjdo.sourceforge.net. Let's go to download. And yep, you guessed it, Windows 64-bit. Finally, you need a video editor. Perhaps you already have a favorite editor, but I use DaVinci Resolve, the powerful but free video editor made by Blackmagic. You can download it from blackmagicdesign.com slash products slash DaVinci Resolve. You'll need to enter your details to register and download, but you don't need to sign in to the website. Once all of that software is installed, there is another small workaround we need to do for these things to talk to each other. A quick warning, you will need administrator access to your Windows to do this, which can be a bit annoying. So, open your file browser, go to your C drive, and then Windows. All the way at the bottom, for some reason, XJDO can't find the DLL for 64-bit, so we need to give it a helping hand until that is fixed. So here we have libjack and libjack64. What we can do is rename the normal one, I just call it 32, just so that we keep it in case. Then we need to copy the 64 one, paste it in the same folder. Again, administrator access. And then rename that one as just libjack.dll. And administrator. That allows XJDO to find Jack. Okay, now we can open QJack control. The easiest way to do this is from the start menu and type QJack. Then you need to go to setup, choose your device. I'm using an SEO audio interface for minimum latency and the sample rate. Because we're using video, I'm going to recommend using 48 kilohertz, the standard sample rate for audio for video. Also make sure that real time is ticked. Then we can click start to start the Jack server. Now we can open MuseScore 3 and start our score. I'll open the one I already made so that you can see and hear the synchronization. Also, we'll go to the edit menu, preferences, input output or IO, and we need to select to use the Jack audio server and those ones will then be ticked and we're also going to use Jack Transport, and I also click Time Base Master, which I think means that MuseScore controls the transport of anything connected to Jack. And click OK. And lastly, let's open XJDO. Again, I'll just use the Start menu and start typing. This is a simple app that can follow along with Jack Transport. So right-click, File, Open, and there's my video. I'll use this one of my daughter's and it loads it up. Now right click again, choose sync, and we'll choose jack. Hopefully it's already found it. Finally, I like to right click again, go to display, and choose on top. This is useful to keep the video in the top corner, but still have a large music score screen. Now hopefully everything will just work. I can play back from the beginning of the score and see the video going along with it. I can also start at any point. For instance, I want to make sure that this climax point matches with the splash. So I can move the cursor there and the video goes right along with it. There's a fantastic video by CF Owen 3, I hope I'm saying that right, that gives some great tips on how to organize your score to synchronize with the video. I'll leave a link in the description. Once I'm done composing, or at least I'm sure that the timing is correct, I'll save this as a new file. Let's call it Big Splash MU4, just in case we want to come back to this MuseScore 3 version. 
Now we can close MuseScore 3 and XJDO. And we can close Jack. Stop and quit Jack. And open MuseScore 4. Now we can drag that new MuseScore file in, allow it to make all the improvements, let it load up the samples, and then let's also make sure that it's assigned all of the correct instruments in Muse Sounds. So just this one, the suspended symbol, I'll change that to an actual suspended symbol in the Muse Sounds percussion. Also the violin one for some reason. And violin two, we'll just change that. And all of the others are fine. From here, we can keep editing our composition or adjust the balance of the orchestra in the mixer. I'll also make sure there are a couple of extra bars so that we don't cut off the reverb when we export the audio. And finally, go to File, Export. Let's make it a wave audio and 48 kilohertz to match our video. We can save that and export the audio. Now we can close MuseScore. Let's save. Now you can use whatever video editor you prefer to join the video and the audio. I'll do it in DaVinci Resolve, so I'll open that up and start a new project. Let's call it Big Splash. Now I can drag in my video and my audio from MuseCore. Here I'll go to the Edit tab. Now I'll just load them up on the timeline. We can mute that original audio. And let's just make sure that they synchronize at that splash. Looks pretty good. Perfect. We wanted to make sure they both start at the right place, which they should since we synchronized with Jack. I'll just cut off the extra video. there and let's have a slight fade out in both the audio and the video and why not a fade in with the video at the beginning now we can deliver I'll choose the YouTube preset because it's there give it a title choose a location Check any settings that you might want to change, although mostly they're fine. Add to render queue and render all. And there we have it, a synchronized video with music made with MuseScore 4. What's great about this process is that as soon as MuseScore 4 gets jack support, we can skip a couple of steps, which will be great. I hope you enjoyed this video. Happy composing for your videos. Bye.